all right what's good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample on the screen yeah let's get straight to it <laughs> So it's like hella sections in this one. It's a pretty long loop, seven parts. I'm gonna start out right here with the A part anyways. So this is the first sound right here. Here's the pattern and the preset is from Contact. It's the Celesta in the factory library. Here's the pattern. The MIDI is super simple and if we pitch this down and if we rearrange the like timing of everything. So the first chord is a F minor chord. The second chord right here, if we just look at it, it's a C sus4 chord or whatever. So so this right here would be a C minor. This right here is C sus4. That's the two chords. So if we, if we pitch it down, it sounds like this. So basically I start off with these two chords and I just rearrange them with the first one I pitched up the G sharp and the F one octave up so now we get this uh, inversion of the chord and then for this uh, C sus4 chord I didn't do anything because the transitioning from this chord to this chord just sounded good you know After that, I just took the root notes. This is a F minor, so we take the F and this is a C sus4 so we take the C which I'm down one octave and now we got this After that, I took these two notes and just moved them here just for some movement. And usually when I do this, it kind of like inspires ideas for new counter melodies. And I just wanted to add like a little accent thing right here. And that's these two chords right here. So I just took these over here. If we pitch them down, you can see it's the same notes in these chords, but they're just rearranged somehow. So so I just du ba basically duplicated the chords, pitched them up one octave, and I did this little strum thing right here, as you can see. After that, I added some effects to it. I start off with a delay eternity and a portal. A hopper preset by brought by cloud i took these two effects and i automated them so in the first part the delay is on and the portal is bypassed and then it's uh, like uh, the other way in the second part right here so the delay is bypassed right here but the portal comes in here it sounds like this Uh, the last two plugins I added was a sound shifter. I just pitched down the sample to some tones and a compressor because as you could hear, the last little things right here was very, very like low in uh, leveling or volume or whatever. So I put on a compressor just to even out the levels throughout the sample. So that's it for the first melody. After I had this, I just bounced it out to a WAV file and that's the main melody up here. After that, I added this little sound very very boring so it's also from contact and it's the tape rooms by spitfire audio and i went with this preset right here it's just the f sharp to the f so it's just a half step at every other bar it basically follows the top notes of the main melody so after that i wanted like i don't know i went to splice and i looked for some phrases and i found this vocal phrase right here i time stretched it and i changed the pitch of it to fit the sample just like this right here and now the sample sounds like this that's the whole intro part of the sample that's the a section i get rid of the vocals in the b section and then i started adding some other stuff first off i grabbed another vocal phrase that initially sounded like this i changed the pitch and i changed the time stretching or like the bpm of it to this right here I uh, just placed it out just as, as it was. After that, I wanted some like, from the transitioning and from the first part to the second part, I wanted more energy right here. So I added this pattern right here. Got this from Xenology. It's the exact same chords, but played in a different way, like different inversions and stuff and different octaves. So right, here's what it sounds like. It's the AX soft synth preset, brass preset right here. And I also added a bass line from Xenology down here. And that preset is fat low bass one. The same thing again, just following the root notes with some transitioning notes right here. Now we got this. It 
it was kind of boring from the transitioning from the first part to the second part so i went in here to a kit that i've been working on and i went with the accent number 37 uh, but i just placed it in here as a transition it's like an electric guitar so here's what it sounds like with the transition <laughs> third section the c part so you got the same main melody you got the accent from uh, from contact but i added th a new sound right here which is like a harp or a broken chord or whatever and the preset is from contact it's from the scarbo bank by teletone audio it's a mirror unclear preset and here's the here's the little harp very simple pattern but it sounds really like high quality i really mess with the teletone audio banks that's the third part of the sample looking crazy fourth part even simpler it's just the main melody with the accent from contact the section after that i took the main melody right here and i duplicated it and then i chopped it up right here and then i made it unique stretched it out like this chopped it up again and now it sounds like this so it's kind of like a halftime effect but not using growth speed had that chord go, go throughout the whole melody with the accent and yeah again very simple section of the loop The fifth section, or whatever I forgot which section we were at, is the same, but I brought back the, the, the ARP right here. And the final section, I brought back the main original me uh, melody, and I kept the same contact thing right here. And I brought back the original uh, vocals that I used in the beginning. And I added this little accent just as a finishing thing in the sample for the transitioning. And yeah, here's the final section of the sample. That's pretty much it for the video, hope you enjoyed it, and leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.